Okay, hello everybody. My name is Leslie Williams. This is one of the best videos that I've ever made in reference to exposing by explaining this specific subject matter. Stay with this video, the entire video. I guarantee you'll be glad you did. So, excuse, please excuse my appearance, but I'm in the middle of doing a few things and, uh, uh, okay, so check this out. What I'm going to do in this video is one of the reasons why organized stalking, gang stalking, targeted individual, individuals do not survive the monetary exploitation, the uh, sexual exploitation, the neural enslavement attached to both is because they cannot get a pictorial representation in their, a visual representation in their mind concerning how the brain stimulation that is attached to at least remote neural monitoring um, that is being perpetrated uh, on them remotely from a distance. Remote neural monitoring being neurally monitored remotely from a distance. So stay with this video. Now the reason why I made this statement concerning why a lot of most targets of this crime even if they know they're being remotely neurally monitored might not have the educated knowledge to visually see how the brain is being entrained so whatever is entrained can then be stimulated which is the neural enslavement. So what I'm going to do, because it is my goal, okay let me tell you something right now, let me light this cigarette first because I, see I make videos you know, trust me I'll be getting back to the, to the, to the subject matter in a second. Hold on. See, when I make my videos, I make them in between uh, things that I'm doing that, that absolutely got to get done. And uh, for my own survival and security, uh, uh, for at least my own survival and security. And um, uh, so I make my videos sometimes when I'm taking a rest from doing the things that I need to do. That's one of the reasons why sometimes I don't look my best or my hair combed. So, all right, so check this out. So I'm literally just sitting down from taking a break from doing about an hour and a half, at least an hour and a half worth of work. I've been made homeless as a result of being a victim of this crime. This crime is absolutely connected to human trafficking rings, sexual servitude rings, prostitution rings. Now you might hear that, you might think to yourself, well this is just happening to people that possibly put themselves in bad circumstances by the lifestyle they led or the circumstances uh, that stemmed from the lifestyle they led or bad relationships. No, no, make no mistake about this. Okay, I got a college degree in drafting. I'm three college credit hours away from another degree. I had numerous certificates in computer, uh, com just, you know, older computer programming like DOS and stuff like that. But the point being is that I'm educated. I also did massive, exhaustive, extensive research in the human brain in order to try and figure out my best learning style because of my learning disability. So, you know, I'm not involved in any illegal activity whatsoever. I do not hang around one soul. And I was literally made homeless by individuals that are connected to these organized crime groups, people who I do not know in any way, shape, or form. In other words, I'm literally your average Joe, the girl next door just an average person to give you a, just just to make one last statement concerning this hold on whenever you go to a, a mall or like say Target Sears Walmart or any shopping plaza even a grocery store shopping plaza stand outside for or for a second pretend like you're on your phone or or smoke a cigarette or just act like you're just standing there waiting for someone and the reason why I say this is because the reason why I'm telling you to do this if you feel inclined to do so or just notice people walking around you in malls by standing there and just watch regular people shopping, being with their families, being with their friends, being by themselves shopping. These are the literally, literally, literally types of people they're targeting. Average people by complete strangers. So, stay with this video because I guarantee to you right now, you absolutely will be glad you did. Alright, let me just take a couple puffs off my cigarette here real, here real fast because like I said, I'm taking a break um, from some of the things that I've been doing. And, uh, 
I'm gonna put my little thing back on my head. Did you know that 70% uh, of the body heat of your body is lost through your head and your feet? Okay. So I wanted to just throw that in there just in case you're homeless or you're cold <laughs> for whatever reason. All right, so check this out. So what I began to state was is that one of the reasons why, see, you can be targeted with organized stalking, which can also be termed as gang stalking, and it's not stalking by gangs, even though some lower level members of the syndicate can be gang members. Okay. Um, but this is a crime that is absolutely, absolutely being perpetrated by a organized crime syndicate that is nationwide within the system in every state, county, city, and town government that has tentacles out within the community at every single place that is basically part of society. Public libraries, universities, colleges, even high school and middle schools, like literally, okay? Um, every employment description that you can think of can be influenced and or part of the syndicate or syndicate wannabes, which means they'll do anything for the syndicate in hopes of being part of it. Make no mistake about it, any employment description can be connected to it. Any. Okay? From your just average retail uh, personnel to management to security guards of business plazas, libraries, universities, colleges, hospitals, uh, detention centers, you name it. It's a syndicate. Hold on. All right, now, the subject matter of this video, I'm going to be talking about some things that you might not have even heard of before. Okay? This video is being made for everyone that's listening. So you can protect yourself, your family, your friends, and your property and your community. And here it goes. Now, remember, and just one last fast statement I'm going to make. If you've never heard of my just what I'm going to state in this video, don't think to yourself that this cannot reach you because this is not just happening in every state, county, city, and town. It's infested in every neighborhood, every neighborhood, okay, in the aforementioned descriptions. So hear what I got to say. Now, fellow American citizens, I'm also going to share some links with you towards the end of this this video so you can find the patented technologies and websites that are dedicated to exposing these technologies and even these uh, these crimes be careful because there is some disinformation and in, in, uh, misinformation on the internet concerning it so that's why you need to do an exhaustive research uh, concerning these criminal realities cross-reference what comes up synthesize it and you will eventually come up at least with a factual uh, partial uh, pictorial representation, a visual representation pertaining to my statements. Stay with this video and here it goes. Now, what I'm going to do, because because a lot of people, whether it just be you, targeted individuals who are either uh, just beginning to be targets of this crime, and you can be targets of this crime without the, without the organized stalking harassment, which means you can be a victim of this crime without being openly, overtly, and or directly harassed. Okay. It's a very sinister crime, okay? Your life can be infiltrated at the intimate level, at the friendship level, at the acquaintance level, and your family can be infiltrated. Every single member of your family can be infiltrated and or and influenced through many different means. All right, so hold on. I know it seems like I might be taking a, uh, too long to get into the meat and potatoes, but just bear with me for a second, because the things that I stated had to be said. Hold on. I hate smoking on video because I don't have any upper teeth. The, the gang stalking expedition of me in Michigan literally came to my camping area in Michigan and stole my teeth. I was made homeless in Michigan. Uh, I was gang stalked to at least, at least five separate apartments, made homeless from each one of them. I got tired of, of, of going through all the money it goes through and getting apartments, securing it, moving in paying rent and then losing it because of this crime and you can google how they create homelessness of targets to see that this is an actual factual absolute one of their primary methods that they do to targets so i came to san diego for multiple reasons and one of them was to um be able to survive in better weather now remember all my descriptions can be googled and youtube research so 
In organized stalking, gang stalking expeditions, one of the main things that they do, because since they're using employment descriptions absolutely including within the system at every level, and this means every type of government agency, law enforcement, fire department, fire department EMS, regular ambulatory services, hospitals, doctors, nurses, administrative staff, you name it, health clinics, uh, dentist office even, absolutely, make no mistake about it. So remember, research what I state. So, all right, I'm gonna take one more puff off this, put it out, and then I'm gonna get to what's gonna blow your mind. You're never ever gonna see the world in the same way after you watch this video. And I know you probably think that sounds inflammatory. No, it's not. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Hold on. Just stay with this video. I guarantee you'll be glad you did. I thought I was going to have to relight my cigarette. Alright, hold on. Alright, now, again, you got to remember, i got to try and enjoy my cigarette and my water while I'm taking this break, while I'm making this video. That's why there's a few interruptions. Okay, here goes. Now, so, since you or any member of your family, your daughter, your son, your mother, your father, your cousin, your aunt, anybody can be a victim of this crime, and they, it, it, oh my god, you would not believe what I know. Okay, so... Since anybody can be a victim of this crime, and since you're not aware of at least how this the technology that is used by these perpetrators can be used, okay, on you or anybody you know, okay, it's important that we have a layman's understanding, because a lot of people aren't educated when it comes to the brain, when it comes to technology, and then when it comes to specific terms that are encompassed, okay, pertaining to the aspects of the technology, like burn entrainment. Have you ever heard of that before? More than likely, no. Okay. And even if when you do hear burn entrainment and you go watch a YouTube video, you're going to probably come up with medical stuff. Uh, you'll probably come up with YouTube videos that even show uh, software programs that have to do with burn entrainment. But you're going to think to yourself, well, I can't figure this out. So I'm here to tell you right now, in layman's terms, so you can understand the meat and potatoes of what burn entrainment is in reference to how it's how it's used why it's used okay so you can see the neural enslavement now this technology remote neural monitoring and the microwave hearing effect the v2k the silent sound spread sec uh, spectrum uh, the neural phone uh you can be sitting in front of your monitor right now watching this video and your monitor can literally take what is known as an fmri of your brain it's not just being remotely neurally monitored the perpetrator is monitoring you neurally remotely but the monitor can literally be used the face of your cell phone can be used the earbuds that you put in your ear can gain a neurological access because what they're doing is using sound waves and piggybacking radio waves on them in order to step down their frequency to interface with the frequency, the resonance frequency of the biomagnetic field of your brain. And everything I'm stating is all over the internet. So trust me, I'll give you the patents and the information at the end of this video. Now, let me give you an example of, about these little filthy sewer rat maggots that are doing what they're doing. See, like, right now, I told you, you know, I've already told you in this video that they made me homeless. And then what they'll do then is increment, incrementally implement certain methods, tactics, maneuvers based on the scheme. And the scheme is the criminal motivation that they have for you. Human trafficking, racketeering, insurance fraud sexual servitude rings, prostitution rings, neural enslavement for all of it. Now, remote neural monitoring combined with V2K and the microwave hearing effect, okay, inducing thoughts and vo coupled with voice morphing of your own voice, okay, so they can interject a thought in your head for your audio cortex to hear in your own voice print at any perceptible level which means that you can vaguely hear it and think it's your thought you can wide openly hear it in your consciousness and since they're remotely neurally monitoring you they know what your plans are for the day as a result of them deciphering your evoked potentials and i'll explain what that is in a minute okay so they can know what you plan on doing for the day 
through the GPS tracking of your cell phone, through covert physical surveillance, they can see when you're stationary and or mobile, which means that where I'm at right now, I'm sitting down. If I decide to get up and walk off this property, they can easily they can easily bring anybody up in here to assault me, even so bad to where I gotta call 911, insurance fraud, for the assault, the, the physical damage to my body. Um, they can rob me, so I have left, left, less things to depend on. Okay, because they take advantage of the circumstances that are created from what they covertly do, including even while you still have an apartment in your home. You don't have to be homeless for them to implement these things. Okay, so, because uh, they can rob you when you're out and about in a community as a result of you being remotely nearly monitored, they know where you're going for the day. And through the GPS tracking of your cell phone and covert physical surveillance. Absolutely. And they will use anybody for it kids, neighbors, teenagers, adults, students, uh, people that look like they would not be involved in anything illegal, including even the elderly, literally, veterans, they'll use anybody. And they'll also target these aforementioned descriptions. So basically they can be anybody, they can use anybody, okay? Homeless men are absolutely being used in gang stalking because they're easily bought off, easily relocated after an event, okay? And the police can easily say, well, how can we find them? You said they're homeless or that they appeared homeless. And if you don't have a video camera or phone to take a video picture of them, they don't care anyways. It won't matter anyways because they're syndicated to what happened to you. So they'll act like they're going to take a police report and investigate it when they won't do jack shit. In fact, what they'll probably do is file a falsified police report, falsified information sheet, or a falsified incident report about you and later use them against you for multiple different reasons. The courts are also involved in this, so can public defenders, prosecutors, DA's office members, and even members of the, your state attorney general's office. Make no mistake about it, you would not believe what I know. So I had to say, each, each time I talk about a certain thing that leads, because I'm building a foundation right now, so when I'm talking and detailing these things to you, sometimes the details have details. And so you need to understand as much as you can about this so you can see the entire scope of at least this section of, of what I'm stating. Okay, so, so basically what they basically do is, is put the target individual in a, they can put the target individual in a bunch of different uh, situations where they, which create their own circumstances. They then try to exploit the circumstances. Like, I'll just give you an instant in this video, at least right now, concerning the homelessness. Once they create the homelessness and they know that you're tired of getting apartments and losing them, they, they know through the remote neural monitoring and through the physical surveillance and the GPS tracking, I'll just say surveillance and that will encompass, you know, in my additional statements and so that will encompass what I just stated, the GPS tracking, the covert physical surveillance and the remote neural monitoring. I'll just incorporate those three into the word surveillance. Okay, so I don't have to keep repeating all three. So. Through these surveillance techniques, they can see where you're at in real time. If you're being remotely nearly monitored, they can see what your, your thoughts are because of your video cortex and your audio cortex being hijacked, okay? And they can, through the other surveillance techniques, they can see where you're at, how long you're there, uh, when you're mobile, like if I got up to move and walk off this property, they can literally GPS track you down to the foot, okay? Uh, and then that's when they can prop up any type of staged event for the target individual to experience, like a robbery. Uh, that robbery will produce effects for the targets and additional circumstances, which then are also exploited. And so this is how they basically break down the financial independence of a target. So they can bring, the, and, the, and the homelessness is also used by the syndicated cops. Homeless shelters are absolutely connected to these crimes, charities, churches, self-help groups women's shelters, domestic violence shelters, all of these can be influenced and or have interjected syndicate members within them because of the way organized stalking can work. In reference to just one aspect of their techniques, they can use their employment descriptions to influence any place in reference to the assistance you get and don't get. Go to YouTube and type in listen to a stranger because of the way they operate and the thing, the lies. You can go to Google and type in fake bogus criminal investigation files. A federal agent or a, a lieutenant or a captain or a sergeant or whatever of a law enforcement agency can use their position and claim that you're a criminal, a lowlife, a social deviant. We're trying to drive him or her out of our community. Will you do this or that for us? Do you understand? 
So go to that YouTube video to get a preliminary introduction in reference to how this works by going to YouTube and typing in listen to a stranger and then go to Google and type in fake bogus criminal investigation files. Remember, all my statements are part of the foundation. Now, so basically through the financial destitution and the shelter opportunities that they create, the homelessness, they know that every human being has to sleep. It's a, it's a natural function. You can't, you probably, you'll start hallucinating at least vaguely after losing, if you've been up five days. So they can easily track you to any area where you want to put your sleeping bag at and sleep for five, seven hours, whatever, or ten, whether, whether it be a small one or a big one, or even if you just want to sleep on the grass. Okay, and they can literally walk up to you while you're sleeping and put anesthetic on your mouth and rape you and, and videotape it and literally, literally sell it to pornography groups. This is the extent of organized stalking. Make no mistake about it. Okay, so here we go. Yeah. So, the reason why I brought all that up is because in brain entrainment, in order to be able to try and steer a target to places that the syndicate has influence over and or and or and syndicate members involved in is because they want to take you to second and third and fourth places okay in order so uh you can be set up in multiple different ways and i've already made videos concerning how gang stalking works concerning this so go to go to google and type in ucsd and law library are they networking gang stalking it's a blog it's got a lot of evidence in it it's got a lot of videos in it you can also go to youtube and type in learning disabled woman exposes criminal motivations of gang stalking uh some of my prediction videos also have descriptions about how and why they operate so you can go to youtube and type in learning disabled woman makes ha predictions uh just trust me you'll find them that way i because I, I don't have time in this video to explain all all of the different ways that they can bring a young man a woman a child into uh areas and environments and circumstances and additional uh environments isolated environments that they control for the sexual exploitation okay so what i'm going to do in this video is try and right now stay on track and reference to the brain training so imagine didn't so let's just imagine that they have already tore apart the target individual's complete life okay their employment if they're able to work if you're on disability it doesn't matter because that's actually an asset for them later for the racketeering and illegal probate control for racketeering human trafficking insurance fraud um group homes uh, but they can basically get you through these circumstances. Their, their goal is to steer you to places where you can be raped in your sleep through being drugged by Rohypnol, whatever, or through such bad financial destitution because social services workers absolutely are involved in this crime, which means they will find a creative way to keep you off food stamps. Now, they know everybody's got to eat. So think about this. If they take away your, your ability to have your apartment, they put you out on the street and then use their employment descriptions within social services, social security, combined with law enforcement, prosecutors, and public defenders. They can basically fine you to death just for illegal lodging to get a hold of your money. They can rob you. They can rape you. They, they can rob you. Uh, they can, um, well, they can absolutely rape you, but I didn't mean to say that part concerning this descriptions. Um, there's many different techniques that they can do to get you to go through any money that you have left. Okay, and once they know that they have gotten you so close to being broke, uh, that's when they will try to interject. That's when they will try to interject to you, around you. Uh, they'll try and infiltrate your family, your friends, to get you to go to secondary and third places for you to depend, to depend on. And creatively, what they'll do, they can try and infiltrate your friends' circles. So basically what I'm trying to say is what they'll do, and even at charities, they'll interject men to act like they, they, they like you. They'll, give, they'll walk up to you and give you a glass of water. They'll even maybe possibly give you the kind of food you like at food banks one or two or three or four times to get you dependent because that's brain entrainment, to get you to believe that you can go back to them to depend on them for what you need. You have those thoughts, or they can interject a thought that you can go to Salvation Army, Goodwill Industries, a church food bank. Okay, They'll get you to believe that you can go to these places, and you might even get substandard help one or two times concerning food. But the goal is to neurally entrain you to believe that you can get this help. 
Now let me help you understand right now. This is the meat and potatoes right here. <clears throat> so what I want you to do is get out a piece of paper and a pen, and a pen or, pen or a pencil or a magic marker, preferably black, okay, and write a square, okay. Let's say you got an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper. Put the square that you're going to draw right at the edge of the paper. And then what you want to do is you want to draw two lines, okay, about, I don't know, two or three inches from the top, and then a line two or three inches from the bottom. Now, before you draw this line, understand, when you go about three inches down from the top, draw the line from one side, and then right before you get to the end of the other side, stop. And then do the same thing from the opposite side of the sheet going this way and then stop before you get to the edge. So before you get to the edge of both edges, okay, the one to the right and the one to the left, stop. Don't inter don't connect the ends of these two lines to the edge of the square that you drew. And I'm going to tell you why in a few minutes. Now after you do this, go back to each line and Put dots on each line that are about a half inch apart until you get all the way to the edge of the uh, uh, of the of the line that you didn't connect to the edges on each on each line. Now, why I told you to do this is because what I'm trying to do to you is the 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 square is a pictorial representation of a neural network. Okay, and the lines are the neural pathways within this neural network. Every time we process any type of thought our own original thought, okay, anytime we engage in any behavior like getting up to go to a place like a charity or a food bank, okay, or anywhere else these perpetrators try to lead you to, the get up and go response attached to a thought pattern becomes interconnected. The get up and go response can be stimulated through remote neural monitoring. Now the get up and go response, there's a biological map Okay, you can go to Google and type in psychotronics, okay, and um, either remote neural monitoring or just psychotronics, and research it until you find a map of, of uh, a a picture of a human by a lot of a human body. It's like an outline of a human body, and what this thing does is is that you can also find it by probably researching psychotronics and the microwave hearing effect as well. Okay. And basically what this biological, uh, it's an outline of the human body. And basically the reason why it's outlined is because right on each section of the body, the head, the, the arms, the different areas of the body where our physiological signals are, there's descriptions, okay, uh, that are off to the side of the diagram of the body, okay, that show the different parts of the body that can be manipulated through this technology. So just, you'll find it, trust me, just research what I'm saying. Uh, I found it by typing in psychotronics and remote neural monitoring, but you can also probably find it by just re by researching, which, which means you're gonna probably go through several blogs, okay, in order to eventually see this biological map. Once you find it, expand it, zoom, zoom out, and then go towards the bottom, and then you should be able to read on the bottom by the foot, it, it says the get up and go response. Basically because what they can do, because like, like say if I decide to get up and go get that piece of stick over there, I have a thought to do it, but the actual physical action of going to do it is a physiologic, is a motor cortex associated uh, behavior that's innate. Okay, uh, and, the, uh, and the physiological system basically sends the signals through the central nervous system to the brain that controls your, your feet and your legs. So it's already an innate, innate function. Just, that's kind of like when you're sitting in a bus stop and you all of a sudden hear a big boom and you get up. You didn't have a thought about getting up. The boom initiated the instinct to get up. And that's what I mean about the get up and go response. You can have a get up and go response without a thought of getting up. Do you understand? Well, they know this. And they can stimulate you to get up and go while they're interjecting a thought in your head through the microwave hearing effect, V2K, okay, using remote neural monitoring, it's basically done to direct neural influence. So you got to research what I'm saying. So basically what they can do, John, you can go to YouTube and type in John Hall's satellite terrorism. He calls them artificial thoughts. He also calls them subliminal messages, okay, 
and it's combined with voice morphine because the thought that they put it in your head is in your own voice print. Okay, so basically what I'm saying is that they can they can basically uh, entrain you to do things based on the circumstances they create. Okay, they'll put people in your life to make you believe that you can go to a church or if they see you looking up church services online that they might not want you to go to because they know you're an extreme whistleblower or you're not exactly sure if you want this church to be involved in K-State Planet. See, they want to be able to do things that are, are easier for them and, and not harder for them to control. Okay, so if they see you're looking up a church service online and they don't want to use that church for whatever reason, they might even prop people up around you like when you're sitting in a cafeteria to have a conversation with somebody else and try and act like, yeah, uh, I went to this specific church for help and didn't get shit, didn't get nothing. Now, if you don't know how gang stalking operates, you're not going to know that that was a stage propped up street theater. Okay, it's done to nearly entrain you to think that you can't go there as a result of you having this thought or even while the conversation is occurring which they know that it is because they propped it up they can literally interject a thought in your head right there that well I can't go there as a result of what you're hearing as a result of you having that thought or even having the art, uh, artificial thought and not getting up to go they're monitoring your brain and your brain's activity including inactivity so when you, whenever, so let me, let me just get into a little bit of the syntax processing of the brain. Just bear with me. You'll be able to understand all of this concerning how it works and goes together. You know, as I continue to talk, you'll be able to see the whole picture of it visually. Okay. So, uh, hold on for a second here. The reason why I had you draw those dots on that line on those two lines, one going one way and one going another way, okay, is because whenever we think to ourselves, see, all of our language is basically nothing but syntax. So just just picture in your mind little words or alphabets of words, you know, alphabets, letters, okay, in a circle. Now this is how language is processed in your mind. Uh, I am going to go to Walmart. That can be that can be since it's a streamlined sentence with a bunch of words connected. That can be one uh, neuron. Now these neurons will travel across that neural pathway. Okay, and the more you the more you have an actual thought of actually literally getting up and going and then once you keep repeating anything that you do and then repeat becomes potential uh, a potentiated uh, uh, neuron that is part of the neural network so therefore it is the put it the actual activity within this neural pathway is very potentiated which means that it don't take a lot for the remote neural monitoring to stimulate what's in that neural pathway. It can also be called the computer to brain feedback loop where they're looping the same response to different circumstances in different situations. So hear me out. So say if they want to take the target individual, the target individual is so destitute they ain't got nowhere to go and they know the target individual ain't got shit because they're being remotely neurally monitored and they were the cause of the target not having anything they can lead the target individual to believe that they can go to a certain place for food or whatever they can have them go to a Salvation Army the person in Salvation Army who will be part of the syndicate or be used for it who is nothing but an absolute low life they did, uh, they did this to a specific target in Michigan and he was a retired firefighter firefighters all over the, uh, the internet to be directly connected to gang stalking so basically what they do, do what they will do is help you out maybe once the second time you go there you'll get mi you'll get minimal help they'll even make sure that you get the kind of foods that you don't like because they want to be able to exploit you sexually for money for food so the brain can be entrained for this while they can interject any thought in your head to get you to cooperate based on if you don't have what you want or you don't have what you need they can interject a thought right there in that situation while a man is standing there who's acting nice who's saying things like oh well, geez you know uh, I'm single you know I, I've been single for a while and you know do you like sex or he'll vaguely bring it up once or once or two times okay and he's basically what he's basically doing is sending you an overt implied message 
that you can depend on him, that you can get together with him. And then whenever you get together with him, uh, even if it's just one or two times before the sex starts, he'll start more openly, casually dressing it up that you can get together for sex. He'll say things like, well, you know, I don't think there's nothing wrong with sex, or I haven't been with a woman in a long time. He'll even possibly play the role that he's been victimized by a woman. Okay. And make no mistake about it, as all this is going on, they can interject a thought in your head, well, maybe I can just do it this one time with this guy and get what I want. Do you understand? Do you understand? Do you understand? They can also put implants in the target individual's penis and or vagina for sexual stimulation. So you can become sexually stimulated as this is occurring. So basically what I'm saying is, and that's all over the internet that they're doing this, and sexual stimulation is already all over the internet to be a method of gang stalking, remote neural monitoring. So basically what they do will get a, an asshole because the first one or two men, if it's a woman, will be done, will be used for the burning treatment. And then basically once the burning treatment occurs, the remote neural monitoring can stimulate what's entrained at any time to be brought back in the conscious forefront to be reactivated, to be rethought upon and acted upon for any low life criminal motherfucker, including even while you're being raped. So you won't fight back. So, what brain entrainment is, is basically what, what, what they'll do is, um, they've already got your biological system mapped, okay? So basically what they'll do is put you in bad enough circumstances and then interject, keep the real halt from you while trying to steer you to places where they advertise you can get uh, some help. They'll dress it up to make it look all nice and stuff. Um, and then what they'll do is... Um, uh, put a carrot in front of you like you put a carrot in front of a horse. They'll give you halfway decent help the first time and then bait you to come back. This is done for neural entrainment to get you to keep running back to them. Alright, hold on. Now, as all this is going on, you got thought processes going on in your head and you can also have induced thoughts put in your head about how to respond to what's being advertised by them in any situation with any person. Once these things have been, once these things have been neurally processed and then acted upon, they become a neural pathway. I'm going to go today to, let me give you an example. I'm going to go today to Salvation Army to get help because I was told I can go there to get help. The, these types of thoughts are neural, uh, these are syntaxes, the thoughts themselves are within neurons. The neurons travel along the neural pathway. The, the, the neurons that are traveling across this neural pathway have a frequency. The neural pathway has a frequency. Do you understand? So once you think to yourself, I'm going to get up today and I'm going to go to the Salvation Army to get some help. Once you have that thought, it becomes a thought, a neuron. That neuron has a frequency. Then when you get up to go there and you hear all the bullshit that they give you there and they even give you some help and you get excited and, and even feel relieved, all these brain states can be remotely neurally monitored and stimulated, really re-stimulated. So basically what I'm trying to tell you is that the thought of you going, the biological, physiological signals of you getting up and go, the get up and go response, become a neural pathway. Now once this is acted upon, and then the introduction of once you get there, you're told you can come back. Okay, this it, that neural pathway becomes reinforced, which means the resonance frequency of it becomes more potentiated, and the frequency becomes stronger. Once they get that frequency identified, they can stimulate it back in real time on any date to get you to go to anywhere, all based on what you've been trained, where you've been trained to go to. Okay. And it's not just that either. A bunch of other different things can be done. They can get you to, uh, they can stimulate, stimulate your brain to feel fear, anxiety, passivity, where you're passive in a dangerous situation. While they can interject a thought in your head as all these different types of situations are going on concerning how to respond to it. They can literally get you to act hyper, uh, violent, 
uh, they can get you to have a panic attack. So you can also, so, so basically the remote neural monitoring and the stimulation that comes with it and how it's incorporated to work with brain stimulation and how the microwave hearing effect and V2K can all be worked together. Picture, a, picture the technology as being the head of an octopus and each tentacle is part of the technological resources that I mentioned to you. Well, this is what they can do. In other words, if your seven-year-old daughter has been remotely neurally choreographed and her voice print has been put in the computer that's within the uh, remote neural monitoring that also has the technology, the microwave hearing effect, and V2K with her voice print, they can interject a thought in her head. They're remotely neurally monitoring her concerning where she's at in her home with her daddy. It's her birthday. Her dad gives her a dollar says you can go right up to the corner here to Rite Aid to get a sucker. I want you to come right back. You got a half hour. Hold on. Well, they know it. Because even the father probably is also being remotely nearly monitored. She is. Which means that everything that she's thinking, everything that her audio cortex hears, which means her own speech, her own thoughts, her video cortex, okay, has been hijacked. Meaning that they know she's been given a dollar for her birthday. Meaning that she knows they're go <clears throat> she's going to a store. They can put anybody to be at that entrance of the store in the parking lot along her routes getting there. Entice her. And then interject a thought in her head to go with them. And she's gone. And they can get her to cooperate with anything they want her to cooperate in. With anybody, including multiple people. My name is Elsie Williams. This video didn't turn out as good as I wanted it to be. So, what I'm going to do right now is give you some links for you to go to. They can also use neural implants that can be done through needles. Uh, nano, uh, uh, the nanotechnology they're using now can be ingested through medication, through allergy pills through shots, uh, even it can, it, it can be absorbed through the skin, and I'm hearing that they're actually working on technology that can actually be breathed in, nanotechnology. So, go to Google and type in surveillanceissues.com. Go to Google and type in Freedom Fighters for America and make sure you look at all of the information that is, is within their bio, uh, bio uh, medical implantation features within that website. It's not the best website, but it's absolutely not the worst. Okay. You can also go to uh, YouTube and type in Freedom from... Co I'm sorry. Uh, United Targeted Individuals Europe .com. Uh, You can also research the neural phone. Microwave hearing effect. V2K, which is also called voice to skull. Voice morphine. Remote neural monitoring at Google and YouTube. All descriptions can be Googled on YouTube. Okay. Human trafficking and remote neural monitoring. Google that extensively. Extensively. Okay. YouTube it as well. You can also YouTube remote neural monitoring by itself. Brain stimulation and gang stalking. Memory stimulation and gang stalking remote neural monitoring. Brain stimulation remote neural monitoring. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, psychotronics, absolutely. Including the space, the original 2001 Space Preservation Act. How psychotronics was originally incorporated within that bill, they wouldn't pass it until it got taken out because they didn't want the public to know about it. Go also to Google and YouTube and type in John Hall satellite terrorism and watch every single video of his that comes up. But make no mistake about it local psychiatrists and psychologists are involved in these crimes and are absolutely at least can be influenced by these crime networks because these crime networks are involved at the federal level including any type of alphabet agency that you can think of so fellow american citizens why would they create the homelessness of a target to then just walk away and say aha we created the homelessness of you what are you gonna you know now you gotta live in it bye do you really think they're doing that for no reason? So, when you create this picture of these two lines within the square, picture these little dots, okay, move, so, 
Once they let me let me check this how much time I went through. I'm gonna see we got six minutes left. Now, once you start becoming sexually exploited by these freaks, you're gonna know it. Because you're physically experiencing it. But you see what they did was they first in your first few years of gang stalking, they will potentiate neural pathways of you hating these motherfuckers. Okay? Of you hating these people. And the reason why they do that is because they want to ping pong you. Ping pong is a game where you go back and forth, back and forth. That's why I had you draw one line one way with no end. Put an arrow on the end of that line. That's the neural pathways with all the neuro neurons in it that hold brain states. Thoughts of you can't stand in these people because of what you know they've already done to you. Now, the other line has to do with places that you can run to for help and all the brain states that are associated with the happiness of you getting those helps on those specific dates. Normal brain states of being happy, joyful, uh, uh, passivity, whatever, are in one neural pathway that goes this way. The other neural pathway has to do with thoughts and p thought patterns and brain states of you hating these criminal motherfuckers and not wanting to nothing to do with them. Because they stimulate that to get you to lead them to get you to go back to areas where you where other additional circumstances can be brought about through st additional staged events, okay, to keep you run. So once the current money you got on you is gone, like say for social security disability, okay, through these robberies or rapes or, or how law enforcement will steal them from you when you get arrested for illegal lodging or whatever, or the fines that you got to pay. Once these, once, once all that money's gone, they can then stimulate the neural pathway to get you to run back to these places. Now that's also done to get you to continually sign documentation. Target doesn't have no money, he's constantly re reaching out to us for help. Target can't take care of themselves because they're still homeless, we better take a legal syndicated probate control. So basically what they're ping doing is ping ponging you to go back to the homelessness, okay? Where the staged events and the arrest and the falsified police reports and everything can happen to you and the robberies and then they'll stimulate the neural pathway to get you to go back to run to them for the documentation for the irregular for the eventual syndicated probate control and for the burning term for human trafficking so what they are are contrasting neural pathways one where you can't stand these people and you can't trust them at all to get you to leave so you can go back to places where you feel safe where you're actually not safe because you're being subject to two periodic robberies and stuff like that but they're stimulating you to go back to these places then once the robbery has been achieved or the arrest or then the robbery can also be achieved or the fines will eat your money, they will then stimulate you to run back to these places. So these original neural pathways hold thought patterns of, well, if I just go there this time, I'll actually get what I want because those thought patterns are engraved in those neurons with their own frequency incorporated within the neural pathway. So they're basically just re-stimulating contrasting opposing neural pathways to get you to do things that they monopolize on for the pro the bottom one for the eventual probate control and the human trafficking and the original ones to get you to go to places that bring about the financial circumstances okay that 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 then will bring about the the end effect that then see because if you don't know you're being stimulated you just believe you're running back to places that you got help to from before but you're actually being stimulated to run back to these places now some for the documentation for the eventual exploitation through probate control so this is literally how it works i'm going to make another video concerning this eventually my name is Leslie Williams, and so basically, when you see these the, uh, these little dots, these little dots hold the uh, in in within these neural pathways hold the brain states, the thought processes, the get up and go response can be stimulated, and this is literally the mind control of gang stalking and remote neural monitoring. It can be called twin doors, two separate doors of thinking that you walk through as a result of these neural opposite composing contrasting neural pathways being stimulated by them created through burn entrainment. And the burn entrainment are the neurons and the neural pathways. My name is Leslie Williams. I'm in San Diego, California. Research what I'm stating and you will understand the sexual and neural exploitation of a targeted individual. And once this brain entrainment has become so reinforced and potentiated, you literally lose your conscious ability to say no. Your free will is absolutely gone. Completely and their control over your body is absolute. 
complete. You have no control. I'm in San Diego, California, and my name is Ossie Williams. What I stated in this video is absolute truth. Google human trafficking and remote neural monitoring. Thank you.